thanks for stopping by once again. Today's project is going to be a DIY growth chart. I've looked everywhere online. I've looked uh, many places and I haven't really found a growth chart uh, that I liked. I decided to make one on my own and I love the results. Uh, this is the final project. So if you want to learn how to make it, just keep watching the video and I'm going to show you how to do it. What you're going to need for this project is some white paint. Um, I have this one. Well, it's primer. Uh, you're going to need a hot glue gun, some acrylic paint, uh, color of your choice. Uh, you're going to need some of these little, I have these little animals that I bought at Michael's. Uh, 59 cents each. I bought uh, several of them. So that's what you're going to need. You're also going to need a Sharpie and a tape measure. You're going to need two of these. These I bought at Michael's for $2.99 each. So that's $6 here. Um, okay, so first step, you want to make sure you Either you're either wearing your paint clothes or you wear an apron to cover your clothes. So that's the first step. Okay, so once you have that done, the second step, you're gonna want to shake your paint. We're gonna be painting our our we're going to paint them white so that that way before we go ahead and paint it the actual color that we want um, the white underneath is going to make the color the color pop so it's going to look brighter so we're going to go ahead and give it a white base coat So we're done painting our, our white base coat. The other side doesn't have to be painted because obviously the other side is going to be facing the wall. So we're just going to wait for these to dry. Okay, so now that we've waited and our uh, white base coat has completely dried off, we're going to go ahead and paint it. I've washed off my paintbrush from the white primer. So let me just shake all the water out. Okay, so this one, it just started curving. I think it's because of the moisture. So hopefully we can fix that later. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, add some green. We're probably gonna need several layers, so need a lot of patience. So we're just gonna paint up and down, up and down until we cover the whole thing with the desired color. Um, this project, I'm doing it for my son. If you have a daughter, you could use a uh, girly color like purple or pink. Okie dokie. Well, I've painted both of them green. I really like how it's turning out. But as you can see, you can see some of the paintbrush. Whoops. Some of the paintbrush and like all that stuff. Like the. Let's see right here. We're going to need, I think we're going to need about two more layers of the green so we're just gonna let them sit and wait for them to dry and then we're gonna paint them again okay so we're back i painted them green and it took about three layers three layers to cover it completely and make it look a uh, nice uh lime green believe it or not i went to the grocery store i went to the post office and now i'm like preparing dinner so I got all that done while these things were drying because it is a thick layer of green. But anyways, now you're going to need your measuring tape. Um, so what we're going to do is just add the measurements to these, um, to these little things here, to the pieces of wood. So what we're going to do, um, what I would recommend if you have a baseboard like I do, you're obviously not going to start from one inch. You're going to start from uh, whatever, uh, however thick your baseboard is. Mine is um, two inches and a half, I think. Let me just make sure. Ooh, stuck. Yep. 
mine's two inches and a half. So what we're going to do, instead of, instead of starting at one, we're going to start at two inches and a half. And then we're going to make our markings as, uh, as we just, let's see. So we're going to start off at two inches and a half. We're going to mark it at three. So um, I had said you're going to need a, a Sharpie, but I'm using a fine point, ultra fine point Sharpie. Um, I think it's going to work better um, just because it's going to be obviously a fine point, um, it's a fine point pen, so it's just going to make it look nicer and neat and all that, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it two inches and a half at three. And I'm going to give you guys a close up of what I'm doing. Um, so we're, mar we're marking it. We're just making markings at every inch. Three, four, five. And we're just gonna mark it all the way down. We're marking all the inches, and then once we get to a foot, we make a thicker mark, and we mark it one foot. And then we just keep going, inches, inches, inches. Now it's two feet. Then inches, 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 three feet. Inches, 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 four feet. And we just keep going until we get to six feet, six feet and two inches. So we've made all these markings. I started off marking it with a very thin fine point Sharpie, but then the Sharpie died. Well, it didn't die, but just the surface, it stopped uh, working on the surface. So I started writing with a pen just a regular ballpoint pen like this so I was just marking it with this one and that seemed to work very very well um, I didn't have any problems with it so I went from a sharpie like this one to a pen like this one and the pen worked a lot better so just um, just an FYI Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to start pasting our buddies onto the growth chart. And we're going to start off, uh, I don't know which one to start off with, probably this one. You want to start off just by uh, pasting the animals over where like the feet marks are at for now, just to see how everything turns out. So we're going to get our hot glue gun and pour some hot glue. Ooh, this is boiling hot. You know, this is like a super old hot glue gun, so. Ugh, that works. We're just gonna paste it or glue it, ouch. Glue it on to the foot marks, just where we have the foot marks, so not on the inches yet. We just want to see how, we don't want to make it look too cluttered, so. playroom um, 
Another thing I might do is add Mod Podge to where I made these markings just to make sure it doesn't smear over time or that the markings don't disappear over time. Uh, that's something I might do. Still not sure. Might give it a try just right now. See how. See what happens. Don't try this at home. Yuck. Okay, so I don't have a brush. Oh yes, I do. Hopefully, it doesn't smear the ink. So I'm just gonna do it right at the bottom, just in case. It's not smearing at all, so we'll just go ahead and add some mud pop mud what? mod podge onto the the numbers just so it doesn't smear over time and it's long lasting. And you could just go ahead and add a thin thin layer of mud mud podge. Sheesh, what's wrong with me today? So we're going to go ahead and take care of that really quick and it's, it should be drying clear so no worries about messing it up or color changing. Just go ahead and do your thing, don't be scared, try new things. So I'm finished with the project and I've signed it on the back just so over time when my son's older he could take a look at this. Uh, I just wrote made by mom with lots of love on April 21st, 2014 for Isaiah boy. Okay, so this is my finished project. As you can see, it's kind of hard to focus. Sorry if it's out of focus. <laughs> um, the Mod Podge has dried in some areas. There's a ladybug. Ooh, focus. There it is. You can see in some little areas it's still white because of the Mod Podge. But this is practically or basically our finished project. I think it's so cute. I love it. Very happy with the results. And I know my son's going to love it too. Whoops, lizard. Elephant. Awesome. Well guys, this is the finished project. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. That way it keeps me motivated to make more videos and um, just, you know, comment below and let me know that you like the video or if you want to see any other things. Like I said, I'm, the, I'm in the middle of uh, like a whole bunch of other DIY projects so um, just stick around and hopefully these videos are helpful and I'm just so glad that you guys are watching them and see you guys next time bye bye